What the she? Hi guys, here are my 10 tips and tricks you might not know about Hayden. You can send off your cargo ship if you do not wish to fill it. All you need to do is just click send and cast off. And watch your responsibilities float away down the river. However, note that once if you fill any of its crate, you won't be able to send it off afterwards. For those of you who are trying to complete your captain tree, you can request help for the crates and still be able to complete the achievement. So no worries. In an event that you have selected Tom to find something you don't need, or might have changed your mind, you can actually cancel the search. So after 2 minutes of napping, he will be ready for a new search again. When Tom's timer has run out, he will hold on to a balloon and be available to you with a discount. You can keep this discount indefinitely as long as you don't pick up the last requested item. So when you've decided that you want to use the discount, you can activate it by picking up the item. Once you have activated this, Tom will hold on to the balloon for about 13 to 14 minutes and you will slip away. Because apparently his hands are suffering from some, you know, muscle atrophy from the sleeping he does all day. The time left can be indicated by the remaining balloon string length. Also, you can pop the balloon, cause why not? Apparently his balloon is big enough to hold on to a marker stick. Big hot air balloon. When browsing other farms, you can revisit the newspaper ad by clicking on the newspaper stand at their farm to continue browsing. So this is a useful trick in case if you have been going back to your farm to go to the newspaper stand, it will save you quite a bit of time. Other farmers who need help can also be seen on the newspaper with an exclamation mark. Oh, this is a really cool trick. So when advertising an item that has a low demand on the roadside shop, if the item doesn't get sold in 5 minutes, the algorithm in Heyday re-advertises it automatically for you again and again until it gets sold. So what this does is it drives constant traffic to your farm, especially in the case when you need help from other farmers. In fact, it is so common that it is an unspoken rule in the community to actually use rustic bouquet as a symbol for help. Only when all the help requests are completed in a farm, the bouquet will then be bought off. When you have caught a new species of fish, you can actually go to the fishing shed to collect diamonds as a reward. So if you have not done so, you probably have a book full of diamonds for you to collect. You can upgrade your tackle box with silo expansion materials as well, you know, just in case you don't have enough slots. The bell above your service building indicates a customer is waiting to be served. Alright, once served, the bell will actually disappear. On to the left side of your town, there's a crate. Cause why not? Free rusty nails to snag your elbows on. Production buildings. The number at the top right hand corner indicates the amount of that specific item you have in your bun. It is useful way to know what you're lacking of and helping you keep track of what you need to produce. For the buildings that have more than one of itself, their mastery is shared, meaning any production hours from any of the building is summed up together to contribute to the total amount in your mastery. From what I know is there are two buildings, one is the feed mill, another is the smelter. For trees and bushes, a quick way to know how many you have is by clicking on edit layout and clicking this little uh, inbox thing and then double clicking on the trees to bring all of your trees and plants. So there you have it, I have 136 black bushes, 8 cocoa trees and 25 nectar bushes. So you can lay them out if you like to, uh, of course this paintbrush allows you to you know, copy and paste them uh, easily. 
uh, with ease. Uh, of course, we're not going to save this and uh, we can discard changes to go back to our original layout. For crops, you can actually cut using the normal way, but there's also a faster way to do it if you like to. You can use two fingers to cover more uh, areas. Rose is someone who actually helps you feed the animal and collect their produce. So some of these produce actually give drops that these drops are actually found at her doorsteps. So lastly, for news, you can actually click on the news portion and to be able to find out what are the events upcoming, you can then uh, select the events and uh, you will be able to know what is uh, coming up every single day to prep yourself for the event.